Hello, my name is Yuri. I would like to present you advanced agile boards for Jira. It's not a secret that majority of people are visual learners, so the best way to represent the work is the board. By using add-on, you are able to build a board uh, where values uh, from any standard or custom Jira field will be used as columns or swim lanes. As a result, you will get a matrix where all the issues will be arranged according to their values in these fields. Uh, by moving uh, the issue from one cell to another one, fields will be automatically updated. Also, you are able to see a dependency between the issues on the board. This provides great flexibility, so the single application can cover multiple needs in your company. Let's check it out. The most obvious case is mapping status as a column. As a result, we will get Kanban board, but in our case it will have a set of extra features comparing to standard Kanban boards in Jira. The first thing that is definitely missed in standard Kanban boards is grouping columns. Having that, we could be able to define column groups and be more flexible with defining work-in-progress limits. Let's see how does it work. In my example, I have created column groups testing. In this column group, I have two columns ready for testing and in testing. Also, I have defined the work-in-progress limit for the group. You can see it at the screen. At the same time, I have defined a column uh, work-in-progress limit. You can see it here. So let's see how does it work. Let's move one more item for ready for testing and we can see that column group work in progress limit has been exceeded. Move another item to in testing and you can see that column work in progress limit has been exceeded. So at the same time we can operate with two types of work in progress limits. Let's move further. Let's define swim lane for each team member. In this case, we can see the work for everybody on the board in a separate swim lane. In this case, we also would like to implement work in progress limit, but we need to implement it per person. In this case, we need to define work in progress limit for intersection of column and swim lane. In our add-on, we can do it very easily. We can see that I have defined work in progress limit as maximum one item for each team member for column in progress. Let's see how does it work. At the moment, Andrew has one item in progress. Let's move another one. Intersection of swim lane and column got to be red as we exceeded work in progress limit. In some cases, uh, it might be needed to define work in progress limit per swim lane. In my case, I have defined uh, swim lane for all blocker items and defined work in progress as maximum two blocked items at the same time. If I will have more of them, I would see warning on my board. Another useful feature is representing dependency between the work on the board. If I turn on the dependencies selector, I can see current dependency between the tickets. For instance, I can see that this item is blocked by this item and this dependency is fulfilled. Also, I can create any new dependency right from the board. I would like to make dependency between these two items. I can choose dependency type and create it right here. Very easy and simple. Just to sum up, you can create column group. You can apply work in progress limit to column, column group, intersection of column and swim lane, and to entire swim lane. Now I would like to present you a few more unusual cases of advanced agile board usage. Visual estimation techniques are widely used in agile world. One of them is estimation by clustering. I have created a board where I have defined columns as Fibonacci sequence values. Also, I have mapped these values uh, to uh, story points field in my projects. As a result, I got all already estimated items on my board in the columns. So if I want to estimate any new user story, for instance this one, I need to find column with similar items and just drop new item here. As a result, estimation story points will be automatically assigned. This approach can help my team estimate big amount of user stories very easily with small amount of time. 
If I define columns as fixed version, I can easily plan several upcoming versions by simple drag and drop. In other column, you can see all items where we don't have any fixed version. And also I have defined several columns with three my upcoming fixed versions. So by using simple drag and drop, I can assign the items to proper version. So you see how simple it is. In the same simple way, I can assign tasks to all team members. I have assigned the people to the columns and also I have assigned sprints to swim lanes. By using this board, I can easily distribute the work between people in the sprint. I want to move this task to Andre and uh, this task I want to move from sprint 3 to sprint 1 and assign to Ruslan because I clearly see that he has a free capacity. Another popular case is distributing the work between versions and components. On this board, columns are components and uh, swim lines are versions. By using simple drag and drop, I can define what component will be affected in which version. Also, I can easily assign not mapped tasks from other swim lane to corresponding version and after that distribute them to corresponding components in the columns. As a result, I can see the full picture of what will be done in each versions and what components will be affected. Story mapping is a very popular technique to organize the work between fixed versions. In our add-on, we can configure board to fulfill this need. I have created a board where I have assigned epics to the columns and versions to swim lanes. At the moment, I can see all stories from each epic that are not assigned to any of the versions below. By simple drag and drop, I can move the items to the versions and the versions will be automatically assigned to them. Also, I can easily plan second version in the same way. can better understand dependency and uh, arrange the work in the proper way. The teams who are using uh, Scale at Agile framework can use the board for Agile release train planning. In order to do so, I can create the board where I will assign sprints to the columns and teams uh, to the swim lanes. As a teams, I have used label or any other custom field value. So you can see for each team, uh, what the team will be working in scope of each sprint in the product increment. Also, you can see dependency here and by a simple drag and drop, we can move the item from one team to another one or just from one sprint to another one in order to fulfill dependency and the capacity of the teams. We can also achieve trial simplicity by using the board. Just assign label to a column so we can create whatever columns we want and very easily manage them without any workflow and any limitations that are coming from Jira. I have just replicated one of the popular Trello templates here just to organize personal work. I have used uh, labels to define columns. I don't even need to configure any Jira workflow or any custom fields or dive into Jira details in order to do so. Just very easy and simple and I can arrange my personal backlog in such simple way. In this video I have presented just a small amount of use cases for advanced agile boards for Jira. Insane flexibility can help to apply it in various uh, other contexts. If you would like to get more information about typical use cases, please leave a comment under this video or please contact our support team. We would be happy to share them. Also, I would like to pay attention on predefined templates that could be visible while the new board creation. Thank you very much for watching this video. We hope it will help you to solve for ongoing business needs. Also, we would appreciate to get your feedback by using our support channels, a mail or service desk portal.